Welcome once again my dear viewers to my YouTube channel and today's lesson is about indirect proportion. Now let's begin by giving a real life example. For example, if six girls are given a classroom to wash and let's say they can take like 10 minutes. If the number of girls reduces to two, how long do you expect two girls to finish sweeping the classroom? We are comparing girls and against time of doing work. So girls and time. Six girls can wash classroom in 10 minutes. If the girls now become two, do you expect them to take less time or more time? If they have reduced to two, I think now the work becomes more tedious for two of them and they will tend to take longer time as compared to when they were six. In direct proportion, we say that a decrease on the left brings an increase on the right. So in the case of a decrease here, decrease on left, causes an impact of increase on the right and also vice versa. What do I mean? Also an increase on this side on left brings a decrease on right. So we are saying here Already, the girls were six. They have decreased to two. Therefore, here, the number of days, we expect them to increase. This kind of questions, in direct proportion, we normally use fractions. Now, we write this one as a fraction. You are given six girls uh, doing a piece of work in ten minutes. What about now two girls? So our question here, it's about two girls. So we write this one as a fraction. And whatever you're looking for, which is the two girls, becomes our denominator. And whatever you are given here, it's our numerator. Then multiply by 10. So by 2 is 1. By 2 is 5. 6 times 5 is 30. Therefore, two girls will take 30 minutes. Now let's proceed to our word problem being our first example. Six men can complete digging a shamba in eight days. How many days will it take four men working at the same rate to complete digging the shamba? Here, there are two things that have been mentioned twice. That is, Men and men are mentioned twice. So if we use that formula for fractions, we are going to say these four men, what we are looking for to be our denominator and whatever was mentioned earlier here to be our numerator. Then we multiply by the number of days. As you can see, the same units are at the same side. This is men and men times days. So by 4 is 1, by 4 is 2. 6 times 2 is 12. Therefore, the 4 men will take 12 days. This is use of fraction to work out. We can also use a table to do the same question. On a table, you arrange men on this column, days on this column, and then you also create another column for total work done. Therefore, there were six men working for eight days. In other words, they were completing digging the chamber within eight days. How do you get total work done? It is men times days. So six times eight is 48. So here we are given four men to do the same piece of work, but we don't know how many days 
they shall take to clear sh that chamber. So remember the total work should be 48. That's the total work. You ask yourself, 4 multiplied by whatever you don't know, we can give it a letter like N. So 4 times N to give us 48. And that's now we come to algebra. So 4N is equals to 48. We want our N here, so we divide by both sides with 4. And N is equals to 12 because by 4, 1 by 4, it's 12. And as you can see, we are getting the same answer, but now using a table to do the same, same question. On our second example, we are being told that 18 pupils were given a playground to clear in one hour and 40 minutes. If six of the pupils did not turn up, how much longer did it, did it take the rest of the pupils to clear the playground? In this question, we are going to solve it using the two formulas. That is, we begin with the fraction and then we shall finish up with the table. Using the fraction method, pupils are mentioned twice, here and here. So here, we have been told there were 18 pupils and six of them did not turn up. Meaning, how many pupils are we working with? We are working with 18, take away six to see how many pupils remained. So when six did not turn up, th those who turned up were 12. So these 12 are the one who did that piece of work. Since pupils are mentioned twice, we check here. And we have said here, it's 12. We will not work with six. We are going to work with 12, those who turned up. So whatever is mentioned here, we use it as our denominator, which is 12. And then this one becomes our numerator. And then we multiply with the time they took, which is one hour, 40 minutes. But now, we can't deal with two units. That is, hours and minutes. Therefore, change the minutes into hours by dividing by 60. Remember, 60 minutes makes one hour. So that's why dividing our minutes into hours. So zero goes with zero. By two, it's two. By two, it's three. So after getting our answer in mixed fraction, we change it into improper fraction. By saying this 3 here times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. Therefore, it's going to be 18 over 12 times 5 over 3. Now we can cross multiply. By 3, 1. By 3, it's 6. By 6, 1. By 6, 2. Which is... 5 over 2 hours. So we change this on to mixed fraction. How many 2's are in, in 5? So there are 2 because 2 times 2 is 4. Therefore, 5 minus 4 is 1. So 1 over 2. So they took 2 and a half hours. Remember we said a decrease on the left hand side brings an increase on the right hand side initially they were taking one hour and 40 minutes when they were eight after they reduced to 12 now they are taking longer time and that's why our answer is two and a half hours now let's use the other method using a table these are the pupils here is hours and here is a total work done. So how many pupils were there initially? They were 18. They took 1 hour and 40 minutes. So total work done was 18. Remember total work done is the number of pupils times the number of hours. So this times this. So is it times... Change this one into minutes. You have said when change it. Now change this one, this one to hours. We are going to get five over three. Therefore, when you cross multiply, it's three by three one by three six. Six times five is thirty. So to show work done is thirty. So here, the the new number of girls after six never turned up are twelve. We don't know what is the time, but you should get. 30. So whatever you don't know here, we put x. 
anything unknown in algebra you give it any letter so i've given it letter x so 12 times x should give us 30 which is 12 times x is 12x to give us 30 we want x we divide by 12 by 12 on both sides by 6 is 2 by 6 is 5 5 divided by 2 is equals to 2 and 1 over 2 hours the same answer but different way of uh, doing it now we have not yet answered our question remember our question was asking how much longer so how much longer meaning now you want to know how longer did these 12 girls take as compared to the first girls so here the first 18 girls were supposed to do the piece of work within one hour and 40 minutes but now when they were reduced to 12 of course the number of hours they're going to take is more so we want to know by what so we say two hours a half an hour is 30 minutes take away one hour and 40 minutes so 30 minutes cannot take away 40 minutes we borrow one hour from there that's one hour borrowed is equivalent to 60 minutes 60 plus 30 it's 90. 90 take away 40 it's 50 and one take away one it's one so when the girls were reduced to be 12 they took 50 minutes longer than the first group of 18 girls this question was then KCP in 2018. In another example, you are told that 10 women can complete a certain job in six days. After working for two days, four more women joined them. In how many days was the work completed? Remember, for two days, the work was done by 10 women. After which now four women were added to do the piece of work. So the two women, the four, so the four women, once they were added, they became 14 women. Looking at the question, you can be able to predict. Remember, we said an increase leads to a decrease. Therefore, number of women has become 14. Remember, the work was done by 10 women within two days. So and the work was supposed to be complete within six days. So the remaining number of days is six take away two, which is four days. Now using fraction, we are going to say number of women, what we're looking for right now to be our denominator and the initial number of women to be our numerator multiplied by the number of remaining days. So by two, it's seven, by two, it's two. Then 10 times 2 is 20, divide by 7. How many 7s and 20? There are 2 because of 14. 20 take away 14 is 6 over 7 days. As you can see, once the number of women increased to 14, they took 2, days, two and 6 over 7 days. Now let's use a table to do the same question. On our table, we have number of women, we have the number of days, and also total work done. So women were 10, they were supposed to do the piece of work in 6 days. Therefore, total work is 10 times 6 is 60. So we are being told that they worked for 2 days. These 10 women worked for 2 days. So we want to know... The total work that was done within within two days by these 10 women. So 10, 2. So 10 times 2 is 20. So within those two days, they did a, a total work of 20. Now let's get the remaining work. The remaining work is 60 minus 20, which is 40. So the remaining work is 40 to be done by 14 women so we want to know how many days will they take so 14 times x it's 14 x to give us 40 we want the value of x so we divide both sides by 14 by 14 so by 2 it's 7 by 2 it's 20 20 divided by 7 it's 2 because of 14 and 6 over 7 so our x is equals to 
two and six over seven days. Up to this point, we have not finished answering our question. The question is asking, in how many days was the work completed? Remember, if these people, remember, if these 10 women were to do that work the way they were, they could have completed it in six days. But now we are being told they only worked for two days when they were 10. Then they were increased. So when they were 10, they only worked for two days. After they were increased to 14, they worked for 2 and 6 over 7 days. So in total, they worked for how long? So 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 3, 6 over 7. So they worked for 6, they worked for 4 and 6 over 7 days. The owner of that piece of work wanted the work to be cleared faster. So after the first two days, he, he, he thought that he needed to increase the workforce to reduce the number of days. So the work was supposed to be completed in six days, but now it was only completed within four and six over seven days after the number of women was increased. Another question you can also be asked, how many less days did the work take? So initially, the work was supposed to take six days but now it has taken 4 and 6 over 7. So how many less days? We will say 6 days minus 4 and 6 over 7. So we can as well finish up. So 6 minus 4 is 2. And in that 2 we borrow 1 to minus this fraction part. So it's 1. That 1 I've borrowed is equivalent to 7 over 7. Take away 6 over 7. And our answer will be 1 and 1 over 7 less days. I want to stop there and wish you all the best. Kindly subscribe and leave a comment and also practice. Remember practice. Best practice.